Hey everyone, this is Noise Seal, and I'm a bit lazy today, so I thought, well, I'll just make a video of the last build I finished. And what you are seeing right here is a Master Grade GOG. And the people who know me from the Gundam Eclipse forums were, well, they're going to be thinking, this is the last thing you finished. Um, and rightfully so, because this was finished in August of 2010. And that's right, I haven't finished anything since August of 2010 because I had a big burnout in October after coming back from travels and I've only recently begun building and painting Gundam models again. <clears throat> so this is what I've finished last. Um, it was started sometime in July of 2010 and finished in early August with all of the painting and modifications. And I'll just go over some of these modifications first. As you can see, at least if you're familiar with Bandai's Master Grade GOG, I did scribe quite a lot of panel lines, and you'll be able to see most of those in greater detail during the slideshow later on in this movie. But I mainly did panel lines on the legs here, and also got rid of that weird circular panel line there with putty. I had some more panel lines in the front, right down here, which you probably can't see right now. There we go. And also on the chest and most of the parts, anyway. All of these parts are pretty big. Then I also drilled smaller holes and filled them with beads, like this one, or this one. But the biggest modification I did to this kit was probably in the head, because, as you can tell, there's no mono eye in there, because there's actually an LED inside. And I'm going to activate that LED later on in this movie off camera and then show it to you because I have to take the backpack off to activate the switch. Um, but that was pretty much the biggest modification. And the inside of that head is actually painted in matte black so that you cannot see any of the detail in there unless the mono eye is on, which is what we're used to with the anime, and that's pretty much the effect I wanted to achieve. So everything is dark right now. Um, yeah. I guess I'll just go over some of the things I dislike about this build because nobody's perfect. I made quite a few mistakes on this one. Um, one of my biggest gripes with this build of mine is the finish on some of the parts. Um, during that time last year I ran out of my favorite primer that I usually use on every build which is Gaia Notes uh, T-01H Lacquer. And I used that to thin my Tamiya acrylics, and to replace it, because it was out of stock everywhere, I got their uh, Gaia Notes T-06 thinner, I think it is, which is pretty much the same thing, just with an added retarder. I guess that'll work good for lacquer paints, but for Tamiya acrylics, it does the opposite. The, the, the finish wasn't as smooth as I was used to with the other thinner, and um, it shows up especially because the final finish isn't totally matte but a bit glossy. That's one of the things I hate. And then the biggest issue, which you'll also see on the photos later, is the decals. This is the only time the decals have completely screwed up on a kit for me. Um, yeah, but you'll see that on pictures later. So, yeah, that's pretty much most of what I wanted to cover. Right now, off camera, I'm going to remove the backpack and show you the switch. Alright, this is what the GOG looks like with the backpack taken off. And I already actually broke off one of the pegs of the backpack while reassembling this kit last August. Basically, what I did, I followed a tutorial on, is it Gamera Banray or however you pronounce his name. On his website he has a nice tutorial which also features a GOG on how to install LEDs. The switch I was able to find is very big and behind it, I'm not going to move it around, but just imagine behind it is the battery and also a battery case. And The cables go through this internal frame piece to the head and you'll see pictures of how I modified the head as well, sawing the front half off of it. And if I just flip the switch, hold on, I hope it works now. I haven't used this in a while. There we go, it should be on. Let's see if it works. Ta-da! There we go. We have a fully illuminated red mono eye in the head. And this is one of the effects that I am most satisfied with on this kit, because I, I think it looks totally cool. 
it's a lot more red in real in real life than it is probably showing up on pictures and on camera right now. Um, in the anime it's more pink, but I couldn't get a pink LED, so I just said screw it. Red looks a lot better anyway. And, yeah. God damn it. Leave me alone, world. Um, yeah, I have to answer a phone call now, and you can just look at some pictures in a slideshow. So, see you in the next video. Thank you.